Have you ever wondered about the origins of optics, the science of light? The journey dates back to the 11th century with a man named Ibn al-Haytham. Ibn al-Haytham was born in the city of Basra, located in present-day Iraq, and later moved to Egypt. Throughout his life, his fascination with light never dimmed. This fascination led him to make significant strides in the field of optics, earning him the well-deserved title of the father of modern optics. Imagine a time when the mysteries of light were yet to be unlocked. In the midst of this, Ibn al-Haytham's curiosity propelled him to challenge the existing theories and embark on a journey of discovery. He delved into the intricate mechanics of light and vision, exploring and questioning the world around him. One of his most notable contributions to optics was his understanding of how we see. Contrary to the belief of the time, which proposed that vision occurred by rays emanating from the eyes, Ibn al-Haytham proposed a revolutionary theory. He argued that we see when light reflects off objects and enters our eyes. This might seem obvious now, but at the time it was a groundbreaking revelation that reshaped the field of optics. In addition to this, he developed the concept of the camera obscura, a device that projects an image of its surroundings onto a screen, a principle that forms the basis of modern photography. Ibn al-Haytham's work was not just confined to theories and ideas, he emphasized the importance of experimentation, laying down the groundwork for the scientific method. His work was characterized by careful observation, hypothesis formulation, experimentation, and the validation or rejection of hypotheses based on the results. His groundbreaking work set the foundation for modern optics, forever changing how we perceive and understand light. Ibn al-Haytham's contributions still resonate in today's world, as his theories continue to guide our understanding of light and vision. His life and work are a testament to the power of curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. His groundbreaking work set the foundation for modern optics, forever changing how we perceive and understand light. But Ibn al-Haytham was not just a pioneer in optics. His intellect and curiosity were boundless, reaching into various fields. His thirst for knowledge was insatiable. He was a polymath in the truest sense of the word. Beyond the realm of optics, he made significant contributions to mathematics, physics, and philosophy. In mathematics, he developed the earliest version of Wilson's theorem, a cornerstone in number theory. In physics, he proposed the earliest known theory of inertia, a concept that would later be fundamental in Newton's laws of motion. In philosophy, he explored metaphysics and ethics, offering insightful perspectives that challenged the status quo of thought in his time. His polymath nature was not just a testament to his intellectual prowess, but also a reflection of his diverse interests and relentless curiosity. Every field he ventured into was touched by his innovative ideas and critical thinking. Indeed, Ibn al-Haytham was a polymath, a scholar whose knowledge spanned a significant number of subjects, all unified by the theme of curiosity and discovery. Ibn al-Haytham was not one to accept established theories blindly. He challenged, questioned, and experimented, a true scientific spirit. His audacious approach saw him question the prevailing theories of his time, placing an emphasis on experimentation and observation. No theory was too sacred to be scrutinized under the lens of his intellectual curiosity. Take the camera obscura, for instance. Ibn al-Haytham delved into the secrets of this device, exploring its potential and deepening our understanding of light and vision. His revolutionary theories challenged those of his time, including the revered Ptolemy's theories on light and vision. Rather than accepting the belief that light was emitted from the eyes, as Ptolemy suggested, Ibn al-Haytham proposed that light bounced off objects and then entered the eye. This radical idea turned the prevailing understanding of vision on its head, ushering in a new era of scientific thought. His rigorous scientific methodology and his challenge to the status quo paved the way for future scientific discourse and discovery. But what does an 11th century scientist have to do with us today, you might ask? Well, Ibn al-Haytham's impact on the modern world is far more profound than you might suspect. His work laid the foundation for the development of optical devices that we use daily. From the glasses perched on your nose to the lenses in our telescopes that gaze into the farthest corners of the universe, Ibn al-Haytham's principles of light and vision are at work. His understanding of how light behaves is fundamental to the design of modern cameras, allowing us to capture life's precious moments and to the screens on which you're probably watching this video right now. But Ibn al-Haytham's legacy extends far beyond the field of optics. He was a rare example of a Muslim scientist who made significant contributions to the world of science during the Islamic Golden Age. 
His work serves as a reminder that science is a universal pursuit, transcending cultural, religious, and geographical boundaries. His story can challenge stereotypes and broaden our understanding of the history of scientific thought. Moreover, Ibn al-Haytham's story is a source of inspiration for the next generation of scientists. His insatiable curiosity, his courage to question established theories, and his unwavering dedication to empirical evidence and experimentation all embody the essence of the scientific spirit. Young scientists can look to a story for motivation, learning that it's okay to question, to experiment, and to sometimes even fail in the pursuit of knowledge. In a world where we face complex challenges, from climate change to pandemics, we need more than ever the kind of innovative, critical thinking that Ibn al-Haytham exemplified. His life and work serve as a beacon, guiding us towards a future where scientific inquiry and discovery continue to drive progress. Ibn al-Haytham's legacy is a testament to the power of curiosity, perseverance, and the scientific method. His story continues to inspire scientists, scholars, and thinkers around the world. As we delve into the annals of history, we find remarkable individuals like Ibn al-Haytham, whose work continues to influence us today. This extraordinary polymath, often regarded as the father of modern optics, revolutionized our understanding of light and vision. His contributions extended beyond optics, permeating the fields of mathematics, physics, and philosophy. A true trailblazer, Ibn al-Haytham was not one to accept the status quo. He challenged established theories and placed immense emphasis on experimentation, a practice that forms the cornerstone of modern science. His work, from explaining light and vision to unveiling the secrets of the camera obscura, continues to resonate in our world today. Ibn al-Haytham's legacy serves as a beacon of inspiration for the next generation of scientists. His story underscores the significant contributions of Muslim scholars to the scientific community. The story of Ibn al-Haytham is a reminder of the enduring power of human curiosity and intellect. So stay curious, keep exploring, and remember to subscribe to the History Codex for more fascinating insights into our past.